Hello, uh, my friends from YouTube. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to fix this error. I have a PC. It's a Bostro 200. Uh, it's a Dell Bostro 200. And uh, I get this error every time I turn it on. It's a CMOS checksum errors. Default loaded. Disket drive 06 fa failure. F1 to continue, F2 to enter setup. Okay. Um, before you do this, I recommend it that you wear one of these. Every time you open a, de a device, this is called anti-static. It's like a watch you can buy it online, eBay or Amazon. Uh, every time you open a device, wear one of these because what it does is remove the static from your body. Okay, so I'm going to wear it right now. Okay, you see? Okay. So this error is because the uh, there is a battery in the motherboard. It's called CMOS battery. So that battery is, is gone. That, that's why uh, we got this error. And by default, uh, the, the disket driver is set up to low when you to to know the computer so uh, let me replace the, the battery and then uh, we're gonna fix this problem okay okay so let me turn it off okay so let me now disconnect the cable the back and also the monitor we're gonna remove these two screws. This one right here. And we're gonna use it. So you need a screwdriver. Okay, so let me. And also, uh, everything you do, you do it uh, in your own risk. I am not responsible for any damage that you cause in your device. This uh, video is just uh, for education only, okay? Thank you. So let's keep going. Let's case uh, we have to remove this, this two. Every, every case is different. Also one more thing, um, make sure you fix computers or devices when kids are not around, because sometime, sometimes they can grab a, a part and play with it. And it's dangerous, you know, so, so now let's put this one, okay? So you see, this is the, the CMO batteries. This battery keeps the information uh, for, for uh, the BIOS, for the CMOS. So every time you turn it on a computer, this is one that gives the power, but uh, if it's um, if it's uh, like damage, then it's not gonna work. So let's replace this one. Okay, let me show you. So you need a a little screwdriver like this, flat, and just go like this. Because I don't know if you can see it, but it is like a little. See. This is the battery. You can buy it in Walgreens in any, any uh, store, like like uh, any store you can buy this battery. It's like a watch battery. So I have the new one here. It's the new one, so let me put it. Remember, the letters go on the top, okay? There is letters, there's nothing here, so. Okay, that's it. Be careful when you, when you use your uh, screwdriver to pull it out and don't damage any parts here on the motherboard, okay? Okay, so now let me uh, put the, the cover back. Now the core back, let's put the, 
this goes like this. Okay, two screwdrivers, one here. Okay, now let's connect uh, the, the monitor. I connect. So I connect the power and the monitor. So let me turn it on now. This computer doesn't have a hard drive now, but uh, let me show you that. Uh, Okay, we got the same error because um because the time and uh, and the CMOS is not is not um right it's not configured right. Let me show you. Okay, so we go here. Oh, so right right here we got this message, this the message that it says press F1 to continue or F2 to enter setup. So we're gonna press F2 to end the keyboard right here. F2 and then we got we 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 got this much as the the steam. So in the keyboard you go here with the arrow key you can go up, down. So we're gonna go to the second that say standard similar features. So you see the time and the date is wrong. So let's do this. Uh, we're gonna um, with the arrow key you go here with the arrow. Okay, and then uh, the right here is like um, say page up and page down. With these two keys, you're gonna fix it. Okay, so also right here it says look, look at it. it say page up, page down, or plus or minus. But uh, in this in this case, we're gonna use page up, page down. Okay, so. So right here we're gonna go to so you see it's 2007 so we're gonna go page page down okay okay now page up thousand nineteen right and um today is with the arrow key move here and then uh, Push up. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen today. So and then we move to the arrow key, push down. We are April eighteen. Okay, now we are Friday nineteen. Mm -hmm. Friday nineteen. The arrow key go down, and then it's like, what time is it? Page up. It's last eight o'clock. Mm, let's see. Eight twenty. Okay, so now, um, also you can see the right here the the diskette, the floppy drive. Remember that I was on. Okay, so let's cancel this one because we don't use the, any more floppy drive. So we go here, and when you go there with the arrow key, press enter. 
and then we got this option, say none, okay, so we're gonna select none, enter, okay, so now let's, let's uh, press F10 to save, to save, okay, F10, so press F10, uh, save to CMOS and exit, yes, enter, you can just press enter. Okay, you see now they say boot from CD because we don't have um we don't have um I don't have a hard drive in this computer that's why but but I, as you can see the the problem the problem is not um, showing anymore so when the battery is damaged the CMOS battery is damaged this is what happened when you disconnect the power cable then the message appear so let's Let's check, okay, let me disconnect the power. Okay, now it should appear the message if the battery is not working, okay? Reconnect it. And let's turn it on again, okay? It didn't show the message that's that showed before. So now the computer is ready to to boot uh, to Windows. But like I said, this computer doesn't have a it doesn't have a hard drive. So um, but the problem is fixed. Okay. Uh, thank you for um watch this video uh, give me like subscribe comment and um uh, subscribe to my my channel and also if you have a channel also i'm gonna subscribe okay so that way we help each other thank you so much for watching have a good day